and Lord, however much your, your people wandered away, you would never let sin and sickness and Satan and death have their way. We're so thankful, so grateful for your healing, for your deliverance, for your forgiveness, your grace, your new life that you offer us. All in the person of your son, Jesus Christ, who lived the life that none of us ever could for us. who died the death that we deserved in our place instead of us. And we might know forgiveness and freedom from sin. And the one who was raised to new life. That we might overcome death, the final enemy. sit at your right hand as humanity is welcomed home as your son ascends back to the right hand of the father we praise you Lord for your extraordinary salvation and in this moment as we gather around the table we just remember once again For I received from the Lord what I delivered, on, uh, delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And Father, we wanna say thank you that when we eat and drink, we uh, aren't just remembering we're participating in the life, death, and resurrection of your son, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we pray that as we, as we eat together now, that we might feed on Christ in our hearts by faith, with thanksgiving and joy. We invite you here. We welcome you in. Reveal yourself to us once again, Lord, we pray, in bread and in wine, for the glory of your name. Amen. Uh, if you are online, you'd be very welcome to join us eating bread and wine that you might have at home. Uh, in the building, I'm going to eat and drink on our behalf, uh, and then uh, I will uh, sanitize my hands, put on our face shield, and, uh, and then bring uh, the bread to you. And uh, at the moment, we're still just uh, eating bread, uh, but please don't feel like you're missing out uh, because you receive Christ by faith as you trust him as we eat together. Uh, and if possible, if you're able to stand uh, as we do that, that would be really helpful. And, and uh, if you can just then reach your arm out uh, as far as you can, and it will allow me to maintain distance uh, as I come and serve you where you are. Um, so uh, let's just ready our hearts to receive Jesus.
He's the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living Lord. And hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. lost its grip on me you have broken every chain there's salvation in your name jesus christ my living hope oh jesus christ my living hope oh god you are Lord, how amazing it is to be in your presence. Just to be able to linger, to remain, to dwell here with you and with one another. Never gets old, never gets tired. It's always new, always fresh. Lord, capture our hearts and our minds. We pray. Never let us forget that there is only ever satisfaction in you. And so, Lord, as your spirit is here in our midst, we pray that you will fill our hearts. As we go from this place, he will remain with us. We'll take your presence with us and bear it wherever we go, whoever we meet, that we might be Jesus to them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Rod. In a moment, our children are going to come back and we're going to spend a bit of time praying for the Greens and commissioning them. But just a few bits of church news for you. 
Um, just to say that this is not our only opportunity for us to um, say goodbye to the Greens. Next Saturday, here in church between 3 and 5, we've got a sort of goodbye celebration. Um, so I'd really encourage you to come. There's going to be some really nice cake and some Prosecco. Just an opportunity for us to um, thank the Greens for all that they've done. So if you're around next Saturday, do come to that. The next thing to say is from next Sunday, we will be starting our summer um, Sundays. Um, so between next Sunday and September, we're going to have one 10.30 service here in church. The kids are going to be with us. We're going to worship together. It's going to be family worship. Um, with the restrictions easing, we're going to start doing some singing through masks. It's going to be a bit more relaxed. Um, so I'd really encourage you to come. Uh, come. Uh, Stuart will be sending out some more details um, in, the, in the coming week. Uh, but do, um, if you've not been back to church, um, and may, maybe now is a good time to think about coming. And the final thing is that New Wine is happening, um, not next weekend, but the weekend, weekend after. And we're going to be joining with Christchurch and St. Paul's for worship, for teaching. Um, so do, um, if you're around, do uh, come. It's a great time to hear some great teaching, to worship together, and to be inspired once more. So if you're around, then do, be, uh, do plug into that. As I speak, the children are returning, which is great. Um, I'm now going to hand over to our wardens who are going to lead us in just a time of prayer and commissioning for the Greens. This one, I think this one's worth keeping. Yeah. Good morning, St. Peter's. Good morning. Morning, morning. Um, so as we all knew, it's Rod and the Greens um, uh, last Sunday with us. Um, I don't know how everyone's feeling, but I'm, I'm just about holding it together. And it feels like a bit of torture doing it twice this morning. But um, we just wanted to um, take some space out to just appreciate how God is calling the Greens to this next stage. And um, just how, you know, obedient and the courage um, that they have sort of stepping out into this. Um, so first of all, um, we would like to take this space to just pray for them, to offer some words of encouragement, some prophetic words. Um, we will, as Rachel mentioned, next Saturday have some time to say our thank yous, to say our goodbyes. Um, and we would also like to offer them a gift as our token, say thank you and appreciation for their service to the church for the last seven years. So I'd like to invite Rachel up and the Greens what last time to so <laughs> invite the greens up and Rachel to present the gifts Actually, you've got some flowers also. Yeah. Wow. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Oh. So, so, for those of you wondering what that is, that's, an, that's just an icon. It's an icon of uh, St. Peter, uh, and he is walking on the water. And uh, I've, I felt really strongly that really in terms of, just leave it there now, sorry. Um, in terms of kind of ministry, what I've been encouraging us all, I hope, for the time we've been together, is uh, to get out of the boat and, uh, and to walk towards Jesus. And there he is. <laughs> um, so... Uh, this, this will always, uh, this will always rem remind me of you guys and, and the, the adventure we've been on together. And, and for those of you who are thinking, hang on a second, I'm a bit Protestant for that. Um, uh, there, I think... Oh, I'm just there. Uh, this, this, this is a rather lovely Bible. They used the, a particular version in the church in Wales, which I don't have. Um, so this is going to be, again, something I will carry with me everywhere. I hope I will be known as the, the Bible Archdeacon. Um, so that's, thank you very much. That's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Yeah, hold it. 
So I just want to invite uh, John up to um, just lead us in a time of prayer. Asking, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Dan Tiggs got a suspected infection in the uh, family, so uh, he couldn't be with us. So um, now, uh, what we'd like, Dan, if you just take that down a bit, it's it's uh, feeding back. Um, is if anybody would like to um, lead us in prayer, or uh, if you've got a word from the Lord, or perhaps a passage of scripture, then please do feel free to share it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come round with the microphone and uh, hold it for you. So please don't grab hold of the microphone, I'll hold it. I'll my mask on, so I can say. Um, now it is a time of thinking forward, of looking forward. So next weekend, next Saturday, will be your opportunity to share an anecdote or a testimony of, of your interaction of the ministry of Rod and, and uh, friendship and fellowship with, um, with uh, Joanne and the, and the children. Uh, so save that for next week, but if anybody would like to pray or to uh, share a scripture or a word of prophecy, then please do uh, let me know now. Anyone put your hand up if you want me to come with the mic. Is it on? <laughs> Just um, want to pray especially for the children. Father God, I thank you for um, Amelia and Orla and Anastasia and their time in Kids Church. And I thank you for um, their energy and their love for you. And Father, we just pray that you will go with them and you will continue to grow them and disciple them. Will they continue to grow in love for you? Will they um, become great women of God who honor you and serve others in everything they do? We pray that you'll be with Rod and Joanne as they um, continue to raise them, loving you and serving you. And we pray that as a family, they will be an awesome power for your kingdom. And they will um, just do amazing things in Wales in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Lord, we thank you for that icon and the message that you're calling us out of the boat. Um, Lord, that can seem really, really scary, but we also know that you are capable of calming the storms. So, Lord, we just pray that Rod and the entire family would have the enthusiasm and the desire to get out of the boat, knowing that you can calm any of those waves that may lie ahead of them. Amen. Anybody else? I'm just going to have a look at, at the, at the uh, setup here. How are we doing? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, Father, I thank you for. I thank you that when you call us out, you call us out in, in groups, Father, that you don't send us out on our own, Lord. You send us out with others, Lord. And I just pray now over the Greens as a family, Lord. I pray that that unity and that that strength, the togetherness, the church that, that you created, Lord, I pray that they'll really embody that. Um, I pray that as one member of the family struggles, another one will help them, Lord. Um, yeah, and I just thank you that that you provide, Lord, that when, when we go out somewhere, you give us what we need, that we don't need to take everything and know everything and do everything ourselves, Lord, but that it all comes from you, that you put the steps in front of us that you give us everything we need for that moment and you give it to us in abundance lord and so i just pray over the greens as family that they'll be able to gather to around that gather around that comfort um and have real certainty in that um that as a as a family they'll strengthen and they'll they'll love each other more deeply and they'll love you more deeply as a result lord amen
Heavenly Father, we thank you for Rod and uh, Joanna and the girls. Uh, Father, we thank you that uh, the last six or seven years, um, the season they've been with us, and uh, as this season comes to an end, we pray for them for their future. Um, we thank you, Lord, that you've got a plan and a purpose for him, and um, we pray, Holy Spirit, you guide and lead him in his new venture in Wales. Uh, we pray, uh, we thank you that you've chosen him for this. And uh, we pray you go before them. We pray for Joanna and the girls, Lord, also, that they, um, they settle down in their new surroundings. Um, we pray for good friends for them, uh, a church for them, Lord, and, uh, and safety for them. And, and thank you. Please, Holy Spirit, guide and lead them in all they do. And thank you for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Anybody else? Oh, Jackie. Lord and Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the Greens and thank you for what they have brought to this church. As they go out into the new, um, new pastures, um, I just pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit will be with them all and your anointing over them as a family, as a cohesive unit, and may they bring your joy, may they bring your a freshness, and um, may they spread, as, as Rod has said to us, to bring Jesus, to bring Jesus, to bring the good news. May they bring that to the north, to the east, to the west of Wales, and the south, that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, not too much longer to go. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to, uh, to read a few verses from, uh, uh, I said this morning earlier, that uh, as Rod will know, it'll be from the Old Testament, from Joshua. Um, and uh, we, we know Joshua was a, a man of faith, a man of perseverance, uh, we, this bit from Joshua 1 is just as he's about to cross the river Jordan with uh, the people of God, um, and Rod's going to cross the River Severn, um, but not, not with his congregation from St. Peter's. I'm pleased to, see that, to, to say that most of you, I think, will still be here next week. So. <laughs> um, but uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, Joshua persevered. I mean, he was in the land. He saw what the other scouts saw and um, was aware of, uh, of um, uh, the, the opposition he would face going in, that the people of Israel would face, and yet he, he believed God. He was a man of faith, and uh, I think Rod uh, is a man of faith, and uh, he's a man of perseverance, and uh, uh, we, we are, sure, are sure that that will uh, go proceed with him as he goes to Wales. So I just want to read these few verses. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not com commended you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And, um, you know, um, the other scouts thought there were giants in the land of Israel. And uh, uh, I'm sure Rod thinks there are certainly some metaphorical giants in the land of Wales, and so uh, we will be praying for his, um, uh, for the Lord's courage, and his and his strength, and uh, his power as he goes in and ministers in the name of Jesus in that land of Wales. So let's let's just uh, have a, a prayer for uh, for the family. Lord, we just want to bless you for your goodness. We bless you for your mercy and grace. We thank you that you are a, a, 
a, a God who loves in a, a, a boundless way. And we thank you for Rod and Joanne, for Orla and Amelia and Anastasia. And we just thank you for, for the friendship we've known for these last few years. And we pray for them as they go forward into Wales to minister for you, to follow you. Lord, that you would go before them. You would prepare the way. Lord, that you would be their strength and shield. Lord, that you would be their strong fortress. Lord, that you would bless their ministry. Lord, that give them friends. Give them loving fellowship. Lord, we pray, Lord, that indeed we might know of their success, their success in you. And so, Lord, we commit them to you. We commend them to you into your hands. Lord, go with them with your love, with your power, with your protection. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Great. We're just going to sing a final song of worship um, and celebration. So why don't you stand um, and let's celebrate our God through clapping, through dancing, however way you want to express yourself. Let's, let's go for it.
see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working Oh, we believe to a close but why don't we all receive this final blessing 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look, um, lift up his countenance and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Wonderful to see you. Um, if you'd like to chat, um, can I encourage you to, to make your way outside? Um, yeah, and do, you know, and do stand around and, and you know, enjoy each other's company. But if we can keep that outside, that'd be brilliant. Lovely to see you and God bless. Yeah.